hi guys welcome back to another interesting tutorial this is Ajilam here welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time of coming across my channel kindly subscribe and turn on the bell icon so that you'll be the first to know anytime i post a new video so for today's tutorial i'll quickly show you how to draft the easiest of the shoulder sleeve pattern for a baby girl so if you're interested keep on watching by drafting out the basic uh, bodies block for you to understand this because um, I want to use the method that you don't need to calculate anything to achieve what you want. So now I am going to draft, uh, quickly draft the basic bodies. And I'll be using, um, say, a 9-year-old for this. So this is the bodice length, which is 13 inches. Okay, and then I'm going to mark that and connect to a straight line. Alright, so this is the bodice length. As you can see, this is 13 for example, so now I'm going to mark out the shoulder measurement, which is 6.5. Okay, I am just doing this so that you understand this easiest method. You don't need to calculate any cap height and all of that. So here I'll go down by half an inch for the shoulder slope. And then I'll be using two and three quarter for the neck width and neck depth of three inches. Then I'm going to connect. So after connecting now, I am going to mark out the armhole. Okay, so I'm just rushing this part because I believe you already know how to go about these parts. Okay, so from here, I'm going to mark out 6.5, which is... So I'll be marking 6.5, which is the armhole measurement. So this is 6.5 here, and then I am going to connect to a straight line. Okay, so here now I am going to mark out the shoulder measurement, which is 6.5, and then I'll connect. Okay, so now I'm going to determine the midpoint here. Here is 6.5, half of that is 3 and quarter, which is this point here. And then on that point, I am going to mark it and um, connect it to a straight line. Okay, so this is from the shoulder line now, you can see this is 3 and 3 quarter. So I'm going to connect that to a straight line. Okay, so now I am going to go in there by half an inch, which you already know. Okay, and then this is the chest measurement, seven and three quarter. And then I'll connect. Okay, so now this is the important parts of this. Now, after connecting on this point now, I'm going to go down by half an inch. Okay, and then I'm going to connect that to a straight line. Okay, so now on our sleeve pattern, this is what we'll be working with. So from this point now, I'll check what I have from that point. I have four, sorry, from this point now is four inches, as you can see. This is four, and from this point downward, I have two and three quarter, as you can see. Two and three quarter. So what I'm going to do now is to mark my sleeve length, okay? I have my paper on fold, and this is what we'll be using to determine the off the shoulder sleeve pattern so i'll start by marking out the sleeve length so say for example i want to use 12 inches for the sleeve length so i'm going to mark that out and connect it to a straight line
okay so now i have con connected it to a straight line this is the sleeve length so i'm going to take my pattern now as you can see and check what i have from this point to this chest line point i hope that is clear now i came down by half an inch because i want the of the shoulder dress to really come down that is the neckline i want it down because the baby is a bit chubby but if you don't want it too down you can leave it on this midpoint line okay so now i am going to mark check what i have from that point now to this shoulder line is two and three quarter okay if you want to use this line you just place your tape there and check so i'll be using two and three quarter i'm going to mark that out here this is two and three quarter and then i'll connect to a straight line now you can see that you don't need to calculate or stress your head so much for this okay so now this is the bicep line now the next thing to do now on this part is on this line now you take your pattern also and check what you have from this point to this point okay this is the method i've been using and it has not failed me so now i am placing my tape from that point to that line it's it's four inches as you can see so like i said if you want to use this line you just place it and end it there but so this is four inches i am going to mark that four inches on this line and then i'll add my quarter an inch for sewing allowance okay so that is that now the next thing to do is to mark the bicep uh, the round the sleeve measurement so the round the sleeve measurement is 12 okay so half of that so like i was saying the bicep or the round the sleeve measurement is um 12 inches half of that is six because my paper is on fold okay so this is six so now i'm going to connect that point to this point you can also use your free hand and just give it a slight curve you can also make it straight you will still get it right so you just connect like that and then on this your on this down part you just check this uh, the round the sleeve measurement on that part and make use of that so for this part it is 10 inches so half of that is five so this is five now i am going to connect and you can see that this is so easy and simple to go you don't need to stress your head calculating a lot so this is how to go about drafting and of the shoulder slip so i'm going to cut it out now so that you see how it looks now when you're making yours or when you're cutting on your main, main fabric make sure to add your sewing allowance where it's necessary okay and also our april online um, training is coming up if you're interested kindly check the description box for the number to reach out for more details so now you can see that we have the off the shoulder sleeve pattern ready without stress and you can actually get this in less than two minutes so guys that is how it is to go about this so i'll see you all soon